Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. And I'm Don Carr. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, we have exciting news for you. Heritage Guitars is joining the Sweetwater family. We'll be giving you an overview of the brand, talking about some of their history and some of the instruments, as well as doing a lot of playing. For a full description of Heritage Guitars and all the instruments they produce, visit Sweetwater.com. Two five five Parsons Street, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Whew, legendary place for sure. It is, man. The late eighteen yeah. hundreds. Orville Gibson. Mm -hmm. The original company was founded there mm -hmm. and uh, and started producing instruments. Right, right. Stayed there till uh, nineteen eighty four. That's right. Nineteen eighty four. Mm -hmm. They relocated to Nashville. Right. right. But uh, some of the senior craftsmen, the original equipment, mm -hmm. and of course the original address yeah. stayed right there in Kalamazoo. Yeah. yeah, really great. They started making guitars under the name Heritage, mm -hmm. and here we are today, man. They're still making great instruments. And we're happy to welcome them here to Heck Sweetwater. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Great to have That's for so many of those vintage instruments that we associate with the 50s, 60s, 30s, and 40s, for that matter, mm -hmm. were made. That's right. And again, the original equipment is still there. The Heritage Guitar Company mm -hmm. is still using that same equipment. Senior craftsmen are still there. They're right. still overseeing the production. They're still involved in the company. Right. So you're really getting instruments that are made with the hands of the people who were making those original <laughs> vintage instruments. That's right, man. Old world tradition right there. Man. That's right. And we were both pretty blown away. Heck we yeah. opened the cases up when they sent these two uh, mm -hmm. guitars to us, and man, they play great right out of the box, and, and they stand up to just about anything that's on the market. Boy, they sure do. They sound great, too, man. I mean, just plug into an amp and play, easy to go, man. Right. They're using top-of-the-line components. These two instruments happen to have Seth Lover pickups in them from Seymour right. Duncan. I know they're using Lawler P90s and some of the other, mm -hmm. other instruments. They've got Michigan Maple that's being used for the tops and things. I mean, they're really using and quality materials. Right, and great craftsmanship, of course. And that's key, right? Yeah, it sure I mean, is. These people know how to make a guitar. They've been doing it for well over <laughs> yeah. 100 years. Yeah. So I've got an H150, and you've got an H535. That is correct. Right. So this is a semi-hollow body guitar, mm -hmm. obviously a solid right. body there. Right. We mentioned earlier Seth Lover pickups, a dual humbucker mm -hmm. configuration, but you've got a mahogany body, maple cap, right. ma uh, mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboards, sure. so the traditional construction. Right. And it just, man, when I played that guitar, I was like, this just feels great. Yeah, I know. And same with that one. Just pick it up immediately. You just bond with it. It's great, man. Right. And one of the things I look for with a guitar when I pick it up is how does it ring? How does it resonate? And this guitar in particular just Boy. is like a bell. I know. Unplugged, man. It's like super nice. Heritage is obviously making more than these two model guitars, right? right so right. so uh, one of the things they excel at is their arch top hollow bodies. And so I've got a Heritage 575 from 2000, and man, that thing is nice. Man. It is an incredible yeah, guitar. I've played it, it myself as well, and that thing is just resonant. It really, really it sounds It sure beautiful. is, and it's got a great thump to it too, man, which is one of the key things in an arch top. You know, the other thing about these instruments is that, uh, that I noticed when we took them out of the case is they feel played in. They feel like an old friend when you, right. when you pick them up. Right, yeah. A lot of new guitars can feel like they need a little work or just need to be broken in. Sharp or just, edges. Yeah, or maybe just a little stiff. Man, these things are just friendly. That's the best word. Friendly. Friendly. <laughs> enjoyed this brief look at Heritage Guitars. I know Don and myself, we've really enjoyed playing these two instruments. Sure have. It's been a lot of fun checking them out. I hope you'll check them out at Sweetwater.com and be sure to visit us next time here at Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects. We'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. And I'm Don Carr. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.